do you think about Sarah Palin when you... <laughs> I used to think Michael Palin was the funniest yeah, Palin on earth. What fascinates me, though, is how people watching her on television, can they not see that she's basically learned certain speeches? And she does them very well. She's got a very good memory. Yeah. But it's like a nice-looking parrot, because the parrot speaks beautifully and, yeah. and kind of says, all oh, shucks, every now and again but doesn't really have any understanding of the meaning of the words that it is producing, even though it's producing them very accurately. And she's been in these training sessions with Cheney's pals, and she's learned these speeches. And the extraordinary thing is that so many people are taken in by it. And the truth is that Sarah Palin is no way good enough. And if you lined up from Europe, left-wingers, centrists, right-wingers, you wouldn't find 10%. You probably wouldn't find 5% who think she's good enough to run the United States. And she's running as the partner of a 72-year-old cancer survivor. I mean, Monty Python could have written this. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Michael Palin, to say you're not the funniest Palin anymore, but you're not. <laughs>